The year was 1859. A rift was growing between the nation's northern and southern states. In an attempt to ease the rising tensions between the two sides, President Lincoln assembled a team of the nation's quickest wit to put on a show that he knew would be the last chance to prevent a civil war. A show that would unite the nation. A show of improv comedy. And for this next game, we're going to be playing a game called Debate. The way this game works is that this pot roaster will be debating himself on a topic that I get from you, the audience. When my thumb is up, he is pro this topic, and when my thumb is down, he is anti this topic. So, can I please get um, any topic of debate for um, this pot roaster? Slavery. Secession. Um, I heard slavery first, so... Without further ado, debate on slavery. Uh, slavery is great because it's uh, an economic base for this country. It, and that's why, that's why the South should secede from the Union. Lincoln's plan had failed. Taking the blame for the bloodiest war in U.S. history, the group was banned from all public performances. The team went underground to hone their improvisational skills and adopted the name Mama's Pot Roast. After 50 years of training, their big break came when the president, Rufus von Schmidt, booked a gig on the Lusitania. With the nation on the verge of entering into World War I, Pot Roast saw this as a chance to atone for their performance in Washington. However, in the excitement of the scene, a pot roaster accidentally knocked over a candle, triggering an explosion that they then blamed on the Germans. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next game we're going to play is called Two Phrase. And the way this game works is three pot roasters are going to be doing a normal scene, except only one of them can use normal conversation. The other two can only use phrases supplied by you guys, the audience. So can I get some suggestions for some funny phrases? The Germans are attacking. The Germans are attacking. Get, get to the lifeboats. Get to the lifeboats. Uh, I want my mom. I want my mom. No, no, the ship is going to blow up. <laughs> ship is going to blow up. So, just to recap, uh, the Germans are attacking and everybody gets the lifeboat. Um, the ship is going to blow up and I want my mom. Alright, two phrase, take your life. I want my mom! Everybody gets the lifeboat. So, everybody. Everybody gets the lifeboat. No. Everybody gets the lifeboat. No! Oh! public heard that the Germans had sunk the Lusitania, Potros kept quiet and avoided taking the blame. However, the group had caused yet another war for the United States. Soon after the Lusitania, Potros inadvertently caused the Great Depression after playing a game of schizophrenia on Wall Street. Okay, everybody on Wall Street, the next game we're going to play for you is a game called Schizo, in which these two pot roasters are going to play every character within the scene. So they each can play multiple people. It's going to be awesome. So, can I have a suggestion for where the scene is going to take place? Yeah. Wall Street! <laughs> okay, on Wall Street. Take it away, boys. Hi, I'm a banker. I'm a banker, too. Hey, you know what I don't have? What's that? Any money. Me neither. No way. Hey, no money at all. Let's hope the public doesn't find out. Oh, they wouldn't like that. They wouldn't like that. We've lost all their money. Uh-uh. I'm a corporate executive. I'm a corporate executive as well. How do you do? Good. How's your company? Terribly. Mine too. Oh, what do you know? <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking I'm going to sell all my stock. That's a great idea. I'll sell all my stock too. Deal. Ha. I'm John Q. Public. Joe Sixpack. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, John. You know what? What's that? I'm hearing crazy rumors. About there's being no money. Yeah, and the corporate executives are selling all their stock. You know what we should do? What? Bank run. Let's panic. Yeah, run it. Panic. Ah, yeah, let's ah. The general public, listening to the program via radio broadcast, mistook the pot roast show for reality and panicked sparking the Great Depression. Some years later, Mama's Pot Roast decided to give international improv shows one last shot when they were asked by the German government to give a special performance for the new chancellor, 
Adolf Hitler. All right, this next game we'll be playing is called Good, Bad, Worst Advice. How this game works is we're going to have these three wacky panelists answering a question. Right here will be our good advice, our bad advice, and our worst advice. Now, can I get a question from the audience? Yes, you with the funny mustache. What should I do as the Chancellor of Germany? Take it away, panelists. First, I think you should build some dams, and then improve the country's road system. That way you can increase employment while building up the country's infrastructure. Your best strategy is just to make sure that all the women stay at home so they don't compete in the job market. That will help pump money into the German economy. Then you can focus on building up the military and scare the shit out of the French. As a futuristic computer machine, I predict that you should invade Poland, France, England, Bulgaria, Holland, and Czechoslovakia all at the same time. While those are going on simultaneously, I think you should also invade Russia during the winter months. That always works out well. Also, I think you should compute a final solution for the... Hitler mistook the comedic performers for policy advisors and ended up taking the advice of all three. After causing another world calamity, Potrost went back underground, vowing to remain out of politics forever. They settled down at Washington University in St. Louis, where they remained for many years and eventually got into sketch comedy. All right, here's an idea. What if banks made home loans to people who couldn't afford them and then sold those bad loans onto Wall Street? The joke is that by the time anyone realizes that the loans are bad, there'll be too many on the market and the whole system crashes. <laughs> a little bit unrealistic, but I think the comedy is there. We'll call it recession. Yeah. <laughs> Today, the pot roasters continue their calamity-causing antics. After causing such horrific events, who knows what disasters their next performance could bring? <laughs>